Well, here we are, YouTube. Back on the antenna analyzer. I think my camera might have deleted the other part of this video, but this is part two, if, you, if I can't find it. Or part one. And, uh, what I have going is the dipole setup. You follow this coax up there in that tree. You may not be able to see it. My camera video is really crappy. But, uh, bear with me. Um, there's the antenna analyzer. It's one that I'm borrowing from my Homer. And I believe this is the, the RF NOS model RF1. It's one of the early ones. This is the 160 meter band. This, the dipole, it's only a, uh, 80 and it's a 40, 20, 10 meter, and 80 meters is coil loaded on the uh, 40 meter section. I want to add 160, but I really don't have the room. So here we are. This should be the 80 meter segment. I'm going to tune it to the voice portion, 3.9. So I can get it there. There we are. Three point nine, right on the dot. SWR is one point seven. If you can see that, which is very good. Usually the SWR it gets to one point two and one point three on some points of the band, and then the other points of the band it'll be mainly two, and then once you get pretty far out, it gets three and then four. But I usually have a uh, MSJ mobile tuner in the shack here, which if I need to take it in my car, I can, but, uh, I usually can tune anywhere with this antenna, and remind you, this is using 75 ohm coax, just to prove to a lot of people that it works, and right there are 53 ohms, not 75, there's a misconception, so let's go back to our frequency, and we came off just a little bit, um, and this antenna is up about 40 feet, in the air. So let's go to the next band, which is 40 meters. I'm going to tune it to 7255. There we go. We're about 194 impedance, and we're about a 6. 1 to 6. The 40 meter section usually uh, works a whole lot lower, works better when it's a whole lot lower, around 20, sometimes 15 feet. So uh, let's go to band and let's go to 40 meters, or at uh, 20 meters I should say. There's the maritime mobile frequency. And I do a uh, 14.290 a whole lot. I just worked the pile up, I think, oh, quite a while ago now on that frequency, which that's why I almost always operate. Let's look at the uh, SWR on that. Four. 4.4. There's a... 2.9. Sorry, but this analyzer isn't very good. 2.7. So that's I can see. 13.91. Good. Well, bad, but... SWR. I mean, that's an okay SWR. You can tune that down with the tuner. But, uh, that's not grounded. See, I'm, pu I'm holding it now. And you can see the SWR drops a complete one. And, uh, I'm going to lower it because one side's like an inverted V and one's like a dipole. And if you get it at a certain level, which is about 30 feet, it kind of evens out, which I, is what I need to do. 
Let's go to uh good old ten minute ten meters. Four point nine. Let's go a little bit lower. Four twenty eight dot four which is the calling frequency. If I can get that down there. Man, this thing is being really sporadic. I think I need to get a new battery for it is a problem. Going up. Oh, there we are, right there. 28.4. And we're 2.5. That's not too bad. You, you wear a lower. Oops. The higher we go, it seems like the higher in frequency we have to go to get a better match. This is a multi-band dipole, too. Um, so normally that SWR is going to be higher because it's going on all elements, though it likes the one. Uh, that it's cut for better. So, uh, that's it. This is either part one or part two, if I can't find the other part.